In this video, we will examine how to create a high-quality, photorealistic panorama using Issue Podium in SketchUp. This will give your clients an interactive VR experience. First, we will design an L-shaped kitchen in SketchUp, then render this as a photoreal 360 by 180 spherical panorama viewed in any browser, including a mobile device. To start the design, I will download an empty, render-ready kitchen interior scene from issueplugins.com. Download it from the Studio Scene page shown here. Download Studio Scene Kitchen 2. And open this in SketchUp. Here we have an empty kitchen area with recessed lights. The lights are from Podium Browser. I want my SketchUp model to look like this. I'm going to design the L-shaped kitchen with components from Podium Browser. These are render-ready items, so I don't have to add render properties to them. Let's open Podium Browser and use Tiles. Also from the kitchen category, kitchen base cabinets, wall cabinets, cupboards, sinks, islands, and also some refrigerator, uh, refrigerator, also some 3D plants and light fixtures. This issue animate animation shows each component that is inserted into SketchUp from Podium Browser. Power outlets, base cabinets, countertops, wall cabinets, cupboards. I will zoom in to see more kitchen detail. Stove, jars, a toaster, a coffee maker, utensils, vase and flowers, books, grocery bag, and a garbage can. And here we see a kitchen island that is downloaded from Podium Browser. Here is the final SketchUp model of the L-shaped kitchen. I'm going to do a similar thing with the dining and living room area. This animation also shows each Podium Browser component getting placed in this interior space. Now here I've created a non-photorealistic panorama using Podium's Cubic VR. This will show you the entire interior design including the kitchen and dining area. Once the SketchUp model is ready, I need to set up the Podium render options before rendering. First, I will use Reset Tilt to make sure the camera is 90 degrees perpendicular to the ground. Because the sunlight will be the primary source of light, I will turn SketchUp shadows on. The North Angle tool is an easy way to move the position of the sun to provide as much sunlight for the interior as possible. Next, I will open Podium Options and pick a preset. I will pick Interior Bright Default. For the best results, the interior bright high would be used, but it takes four times longer to render. The Preset Chooser web page helps you decide what preset would be best. For example, pick an interior model from the web page and compare bright default with bright high. Now from options, I pick one of the physical skies for my exterior sky. All panorama resolution aspect ratios are 2 to 1. You want as high of a resolution as your computer and time can handle for panoramas. In this case, I will make my width 5000 pixels. Now I'm ready to render. After the render is complete, Podium produces an echo rectangular image. This is a flattened image of a sphere. You can open this image into Pi directly from Edit and then upload this to the Panorama server. 
or you can upload directly to the Panorama server from your computer. If you use Pi, you can use all the image enhancements and filters. When ready, select Panorama and upload. Panorama Server will convert the flat equirectangular image to a 360 by 180 spherical panorama. I'm using the turntable option, but I can interact with the panorama by moving the camera's direction in any degree. Here's another panorama with a different camera perspective that is closer to the kitchen. The Panorama server creates a URL that you can send to your clients and even view on your smartphone or any mobile device as shown here. This panorama is of a night scene with the most of the light fixtures turned on.